everybody, it's Kelly, and welcome back to another episode of Dying the Dead. Today we are going to be doing the bone stain, which is going to be using a chemical called alizarian red, which is going to stain our specimen's bones a nice reddish pink color. We are going to be using a mixture of potassium hydroxide and the alizarian red powder in order to make this solution. Once we prepare a solution, we're going to be moving our specimens into it and we're going to be leaving them there for about 24 hours. Here are some of the items and things that you're going to be needing. Your specimens that have been soaking in your trypsin digestion solution for about two, maybe three days at max. You're going to need two jars, one to prepare the potassium hydroxide solution and then one to prepare the entire solution. Your scale, some little sheets to weigh your chemicals out on, your tweezers, a knife or a stir stick, lab gloves, your goggles, your 100 milliliter graduated cylinder, distilled water, your potassium hydroxide flakes, and last but not least, your azalean red powder. All right, so let's get started. To prepare a solution, we're going to be using a 0.5% solution of potassium hydroxide. To make a 0.5% potassium hydroxide solution, we first need to find the molar mass of potassium hydroxide, or KOH. Potassium hydroxide consists of three elements, potassium, which is 39 grams per mole, oxygen, which is 16 grams per mole, and hydrogen, which is one gram per mole. When you add all those together, you get 56 grams per mole, and that is the molar mass. To the molar mass, since that's one mole, we need to times that by 0.5 molar, and that gives us 28 grams per liter. We don't need a liter of solution or 1,000 milliliters, so we're going to just kind of half that, and then we're going to half it again. So what I'm going to do is I'm only going to prepare about 250 milliliters of a 0.5% potassium hydroxide solution. So if we have to add 28 grams to one liter, then we would have to put 14 grams of potassium hydroxide into 500 milliliters. And to 250 milliliters, we would only have to add seven grams of potassium hydroxide. And you're gonna to wanna to mix that really well until it all dissolves. the potassium hydroxide solution sit for about five minutes it became very clear solution and it turned a purple color as you can see so we are now going to transfer our specimens from the trypsin digestion solution into the alizarian red bone stain
So we put our specimens in the alizarian red solution stain. You can't really see them, but we're going to be leaving them there for about 24 hours. We're going to take a look at what our specimens look like after being in the alizarian red stain. They've been soaking in there overnight, so I'm kind of excited to see what they look like now. Looking at the mice after the alizarian red bone stain, I'd say my specimens turned out pretty good. You can clearly see where the bone stain took up most of the bones. It dyed the skull, it dyed the tail, it dyed the ribs, it dyed the arms and all of that stuff. You can even see that the specimens look a little bit purple. Lifting up the rib cage, kind of like seeing and peering inside, you can see that the first two specimens are still a little bit dark, but their bones are dyed. So that's a plus. The third mouse, however, is still very translucent. It happened to, I guess, be the best one out of all three right now. You can visibly and clearly see the bone stain transition into the cartilage stain, and that just looks great. And the tissues are very transparent, which makes it a lot easier to view the stains at this point. So I'd say the specimens came out pretty good. I just want to say thank you everybody for watching. Don't forget to thumb up and subscribe to my channel if you like what you're seeing and if you just want to see more. Also, if you guys have any questions, please put them down in the comments and I will answer them to the best that I can. Don't forget to read the description and see what kind of stuff is in there that I may not have been able to put into the video. Join me next time for when we do the clearing and bleaching of our specimens. Bye guys!